Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I will be presenting you guys with my first edition that covers my top five iPhone jailbreak applications slash tweaks for the month of March 2012. If you aren't familiar with my edition series, please check out a link in the description that will redirect you to my blog and basically describe what this edition series will entail over the coming months and coming years and stuff like that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video that, like I said, covers the top five iPhone jailbreak application slash tweaks for the month of March 2012. So the first one that we have here is called Deck. I just did a video on this earlier today, and I just think it is such a great jailbreak tweak that it had to be on this list. It's one of the best that I've seen in recent times. So basically, Deck is like an alternative to SB settings. I have the activator option to be slet, to be set to swipe left on the status bar. As you can see, there are a slew of options, including launching applications such as the App Store, respringing your device, composing a tweet, um, and uh, things among that. So we can also go here and we can go to the settings preferences and you can see that you can toggle off and on, you know, sound, 3G, Wi-Fi, whatever you want to do. It's all right here, almost like an SB settings. And there are just so many options and ways to customize deck that I definitely think you should check out deck in the City of Store. Next up here we have Spring Ground, and I included this in the top five just because of its originality. Uh, basically, I've never seen anything like this before that even comes close to it. So I have the activator option set up as tap and hold on the status bar. As you can see when I do that, my springboard is instantly overlaid my application that I'm using, which is of course settings. So right here, I can just use my springboard as I would. I can open up folders, and I can even open up other applications like stocks, and then I can reopen up the spring ground application slash tweak right over the stocks application. So that's really all it does, but I just think it's such a cool tweak and I think a lot of people could find it useful in their lives or how they use their iPhone. Next up here, we have any voice. Any voice is just something that I think is really funny. It doesn't, it basically just tries to convert Siri's voice to a bunch of different like languages and nationalities and stuff like that. So right here I have it set to Russian, but there are so many other options including Turkish, Chinese, Mandarin, Spanish, Dutch, Korean, um, you know, different versions of English. There's so many options. However, I'm gonna do Russian in this video and I'll explain why I don't do others because not all of them work too well. Siri, what is the meaning of life? So we're gonna get a response. That's easy. It's a philosophical question concerning the purpose and significance of life or existence in general. Obviously you can see it does have a Russian accent. Now there are other ones that work similar but um, similarly, but you know, ones like Spanish are not going to work as well because they're going to use pronunciation rules in Spanish. So instead of general, it'd be general. Um, so it's really cool to play around with, but sometimes it just gets impossible to understand them, especially in languages like Chinese, I believe, and some other, uh, I believe I tried uh, Arabic. You just can't understand what they're saying, but I still think you should check it out because it's free and I like changing it to Russian. That's my basically my personal favorite, but go ahead and check out any voice uh, in Cydia. So next here we have Siri board, which is just a very simple jailbreak tweak. Some people think it's kind of dumb. I just think it's really interesting. It basically just adds an icon for Siri. So obviously, as you can see, I just type the icon like so. You know, it might save a couple seconds or so instead of holding your home button. But other than that, that's really all it does. But if you think you would like to have Siri in your dock, or as an icon, or if your home button is broken, as I know most people, or not most people's, some people's home buttons are broken, this is very helpful to have so that you can still access Siri on your iPhone 4S or whatever device that you have Siri on. Okay, so my last one is iPhoto 501 Fix. Now, there really is nothing to show you other than the fact that I can run iPhoto on iOS 5.0.1. Now, there is another step to get iPhoto on 5.0.1, but iPhoto 5.0.1 Fix is the way to get iPhoto, or to prevent iPhoto from crashing on 5.0.1s. It does crash unless you install this tweak. And I think this is important because a lot of people want iPhoto, but you need to update to 5.1. And if you do so, then you lose your jailbreak. So that's why I included this tweak. There really isn't anything to show you, but I think it's very important is iPhoto is just such a great application and obviously it's made by Apple. So that wraps it up for this particular edition. So if you would, please leave some comments in the comment section below, giving me some suggestions on what I should do in future editions. Basically some tips, some advice, what you think I did wrong and what you think I should do better. Just leave that in the description below in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at iAppOSX. Add me on Game Center as AppOSX. That's it guys. Thanks for watching.